All right, welcome to the 2014 SC2K Year in Review podcast. This is Ron Moore, along with the J-Man, the Wee Guy, and the Purple. Celebration! Damn it, every right, time. You can never get the timing right of who to say something first, or who <laughs> says something first. It's at the same time we speak. Yeah. All right, yeah, so. um, is this like the first time that we've done the podcast like after the new year because i know we used to do it like before and regretted it yeah i think so uh you know what recently uh, i think last night i listened to most of the 2010 year review podcast and that was probably, probably the best year review podcast we've done that was like over an hour long oh. uh we had some people in the background we had angel with us and wow trains had- it was the best yeah. LP years too, you know. That was a uh, pretty cool. That was pretty ECW podcast, and um, I mean, we've done some, uh, you know, every, we've done one every year, and so this year, um, or I guess last year now, I forgot. Happy, happy late New Year, everybody. 2014 Dude. for s 2 k wasn't bad, but I think like, it was a little bit slower than usual. Um, yeah, quite slow as a pr- productive year as previous years. Even though I feel like our best years are behind us on the channel, you know, we still have fun on the channel and still do as much videos as we can. This year was pretty busy for me. And, uh, but now that I have much more free time, I have one job now. I'm going to focus on my web design business. I should have more time to do videos. And so, yeah, um, I guess, uh, personally, 2014 was definitely much better than last year, 2013. And, uh, that's a whole nother topic. Um, how was y'all's year? Pretty good. Um, now for me, it—I uh, want to say it was the worst year of my life. The more that I think about it, it really wasn't. I—I um, I didn't get a promotion at my job, but I got a—I uh, guess a job transfer. Um, I'm a driver now, so I drive a van around Dallas and uh, Fort Worth, depending on the route that I'm on. So it's it's pretty cool being out on the road. The the inside stuff sucks. I work with a couple of douchebags. Oh. Um best Christmas of my life. <laughs> my, <Better be. laughs> my my awesome girlfriend got me a PS4. Nice. I love it. Oh. It's freaking awesome. There's yeah. problems with it. Well not with the system itself, just you know. There's yeah, the I'm network. comparing it to PS3. There's there's some things that they did better on PS3. Anyways, it's it's still freaking awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, I just wanted to say one more thing that that made this year really suck was uh, Robin Williams. That was oh, really yeah. hard. Really hard. You know, yeah, like that, I don't cry. I cried. <laughs> yeah, that really really sucked and. It, it, he was battling depression, and that goes to show, no matter how someone looks on the outside, you don't know what's going on in their head. Absolutely. So, yeah, definitely rest in peace, Robin Williams. Yeah. That's and, a very funny man. Yeah, definitely. Very giving, you know, very kind to others, but, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, one th- cool thing that happened uh, for me, for sure, was beating J-Man again in person for the second time. Beating J-Man? Oh, yeah. Yep. Um, oh, yeah. You beat him? He, he... What? No, he you said... Me. Oh, I thought you said he beat I you. Him. Meeting. I thought you, said he... I thought you said beating. I was like, no, what, what, why'd no, you do that, Ronnie? No, no, Bear. Meeting, not beating. Right? <laughs> oh, you beat him. <laughs> um, Quit talking about the things you want Ronnie to do to you. Yeah. No, what? <laughs> we don't do that here at the SC2K. This has been a bear-free <laughs> channel for about two years now. So, Where is he, Bear? You know what? I think I seen him on the milk carton the other day. Yeah. <laughs> the Canadian milk bag? Yeah, I do. <laughs> you mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and... But I met J-Man, was, what was it? Yeah, October, because that's when I moved to my new apartment, and I could not have rats, yeah. so Purple wanted the rat, and I was able to meet J-Man halfway at a Whataburger. Thank you very much for that. And so I gave Snowflake to... J Man, and then that's how I got to meet him for the second time. Too bad we couldn't hang out though and have a burger at Water Burger, but you know we couldn't bring the rat inside with us and couldn't leave in the car. Right. So, but yeah, so that was pretty cool. Um, I think of all the YouTubers, I think you're the only one I've ever met in person 
me and Green were actually talking about doing that. That never happened. I think even we guy was talking about moving to Dallas, but that never happened. Oh, yeah, that was a way long ago thing. That wasn't last year. That was like 2012 or something when that thing was like yeah. something that may have happened. Yeah. But Don't I mean, you have uh, family uh, like San Antonio? Uh, yeah, there's extended family in, in San Antonio and Dallas. Yeah. But, oh, uh, yeah. okay. Wow. Yeah. But I will be coming to Dallas actually this July for SGC. Huh. Hmm. Yes, I'm actually going to go through with that. Cause Interesting. Interesting. Buddies of the multi tab group, I believe I've mentioned to you, Ronnie, like many times. Yeah, they we, all want to go. And we got to like, plan a meetup, but then I'll sit my own yeah, booth. I'll sit my own come, booth. And I'll sit yeah, my own come, booth up, and it'll be empty. <laughs> no one knows. Yeah, who come down. Yeah, come down to SG, <laughs> Dallas and just have your SD two K booth. Yeah, yeah. Well, I only it only just be me, you, J Man, Gen Two, and Star Soldier. And, <laughs> yeah, that's because we're part of the channel. No fans will come over unless it's uh, green or. That's it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. No, goes, bro. You're included. Two guys went inside the booth. <laughs> uh, not, oh, God, no. No. Banned. Banned. No <laughs> hey, Yeah, band. you're right. We'll, we'll get, we're not, we won't bring goes, goes bro, but we'll bring Jeff. <laughs> oh, well. I want to see the reenactment of the chair, chair tipping. <laughs> I'm okay with yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 got a, I got a good idea. We'll get a... I, I know how we can get a bunch of people. I'll bring some liquor. There we go. I see, yeah. Too late. Already going to happen. Go. So no, Jeff, bring his, more. Jeff will get his revenge. Hit you from behind with a steel chair. <laughs> WWE they, style. You, you want to use a chair against me, J-Man? How about this? Oh. No, he'll hit me with like a, a Neo Geo or something. Some, <laughs> yeah. some obscure console. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take this. Sega CD. Yeah, I told you, Jan, this is better. Uh, um, oh, yeah, this is a year, year review podcast. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know what? We, and, you know, uh, you guys are getting off topic here. Uh, yeah, we got to stay on topic. Uh, but, you know, no, you know what? Gentoo and Star Soldier, I think, was supposed to be in the show, but they're nowhere to be found, even though I believe Gentoo at least for sure said he would be here, but they both disappeared. MIA. Lame. They decided to take a hiatus. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Gentoo They're does done. have a New Year's resolution. He told me he's gonna try to do STK videos this year. So I want Vampire Countdown, the Redux. Yeah, really. I wish there was a Donkey Kong Country Three Redux. But anyway, I digress. Well, you know what? I should try and actually, yeah, uh, freaking do something. Did I even do? I think I did one LP last 2014. Did I? I don't think I, so. Did, did I skip out? Well, we'll find just... out because I have the uh, page video list right here. Then we'll start with starting with January, of course. I don't know. I think probably the only one that did anything on the S two K as far as yeah, the, the Ronnie year. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, I remember the years where you would do stuff, and um, Gen two I think did a few things. And I would actually do stuff. <laughs> yeah, I think you did. Well, I forgot what you did uh, as far as all oh, you did. Uh, ghosts and ghouls and ghosts. I think wasn't ghosts. ghosts. Super oh, hard. and I stole. I stole Night Trap. Yes, Night Trap. That was. Oh, I've been yeah, watching was, a few of those. Like that was. Uh, it was hilarious. The. At the fake AC yeah. Slater brushing his teeth around the house and the little 15-year-old J-Man. Yeah, that was good stuff. <laughs> um, I know, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go ahead and start off with what happened in January 2014. I started off with, um, well, of course, it was the 2013 Year in Review show. And so that was about an hour long. For some reason. <laughs> yeah. And we talked about, well, guess what? Stuff that happened in 2013. Yeah, well, wasn't that another uneventful year? It was less uneventful than this year. <laughs> or last year. Well, that was the year where I had my own place again, and I was able to do more videos. We did, uh, what was it? Uh, what we talked about? Uh, day, not Deja Vu. Yeah, we did Deja Vu and Uninvited and all that good stuff. Spaghetti. So, yeah, uh, of course, 2013 it was a good year, and uh, that was featuring... Who's in the podcast here? I gotta look. See, it was uh, me, um, J Man, Purple. Well, this thing was scroll right. Uh, was that it? I guess it was really? just me, J Man, and Purple. <gasps> I, I, I wasn't in there. It says in the description box who's in there, and me, J Man, and Purple. Hmm. Huh. Oh well. And so, 2014. After that, as far as video game LPs and stuff. I finished uh, the Manhattan Project. Oh yeah, that, that was good. 
Yeah. That's pretty good because I started that like 2013. It took a while to, to freaking complete. And so, and then, and then uploaded the uh, old videos of that was on Blip, old school, old school S2K shows because Blip was closing channels that weren't drawing money. So I uploaded like 2007 S2K shows where me and Raven would be in front of the camera, or me, Angel, Venom, and the, unknown, <laughs> the unknown's voice would be on it's camera. Like- yeah, this year was like the recap. It's like the season where instead of new episodes, they just play old clips from the from old episodes. Yeah, really. <laughs> so this was. Yeah. It was the old videos of the humble beginnings of SC2K as far as YouTube is concerned. Mm-hmm. And then after that, I did a, a, I finally did a let's play of Mortal Kombat for the arcade. Oh, yeah. Were we a part of that? Just us three? It was me. J Man for sure, and I think it was you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was like purple in your body. Yeah. Who? Yeah, and you had your uh, I think it was your body from work in it. Mm, right? Let me look in the description. No, that was a podcast he was in, in two thousand thirteen. Uh wasn't that when you were showing all the babalities and stuff? No, this is more come at one the arcade. Um oh. uh, okay. Then this was later. Yeah, this oh, is, yeah. Um, that, what do you think about J-Man is the Fighting Games podcast that we did. My friend was in there for Oh, wait, did we? Well, uh, okay. Now, as far as Mortal Kombat Arcade LP, was it was uh, me, J-Man, and Purple. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that, Gen 2 recorded that footage, and he recorded that like a year in advance, not, like a year before this was uploaded, and I f- totally forgot about it until I looked in the video list. I go, what is this? Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I'm supposed to do this, LP, and just completely forgot about it. So that's why it's called Let's Finally Play Mortal Kombat for the Arcade. And the next LP after that, actually, it started on the same day. Published on the same day. Wait a minute. Now, this is back then when you can schedule your videos ahead of time. Now you can't, or at least I can't no more. Like, you upload them and click on schedule, and you can upload them, and they haven't published at a later date. Huh. I can't do that no more. I don't know why. But um, this one was published on January 10th, two days after the Mortal Kombat LP. Let's play Fazanadu. Ooh. Ah, the beginning. <laughs> yeah. The uh, beginning. That's a, that's a pretty good LP. I, I love that game. It's the first time playing through the whole thing. I really like that game. I think it's underrated. Kind of is. It's been getting its notoriety, though. Yeah, I know. Um, J Man was in one. You were in one. We got. Um, oh yeah, I made some appearances. Star Soldier. Uh, part one was funny. Jeff was in that one. And that was. Oh yeah. Time Jeff was in anything on S two K. Oh yeah, you made his triumphant return. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and stuff. As do pretty easy WLP. Oh, oh and also, was... what do what? No, that, yeah, that was, that was like our triumphant uh, NES LP of the of that of the year. Yeah. And 2014 was also the year where we got finally finished his LP of Mega Man Four. Uh, oh yeah, because I kept slowly, steadily uploading that from Blip. So I just yeah, because when I when I pull a J Man, I just spread that out for just like two years. Yeah. That's right. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute! Didn't Gentoo do the the gameplay for that? No, that was me. Oh, what? Wait a minute! I thought you said it was Gentoo that did it. Was it? It I was I... Gentoo. Oh yeah, it was. Okay. Ah! Trying to take credit. Yeah, I'm I'm take just... credit. That's okay. Trying to oh. take credit. Well, I forget, man, because it's so long ago, and it was so. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fun LP. Star it Soldier, was. Star Soldiers in that one. I think Bear was in that one. Maybe. <laughs> That's probably the last we ever heard of him. Yeah, really. Well, no, he's I mean, not his girlfriend are... now. You know, he don't need S2K anymore. We... Well, well, J-Man's... That's no excuse. J-Man's yeah, got a girlfriend. I got a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Bear's, Bear's like, well, well, I... But shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, Gen 2 did do an LP this year. Resident <laughs> Evil Director's Cut. Oh, yeah, which I uh, I think I was only, like, in one episode. <laughs> I think so, yeah. <laughs> it was, like, in the last episode. <laughs> yeah. And 
uploaded a video advertising my business, Ron Moore's Web Designs, which I started on February 18th, 2014. Shameless. Shameless. That was a highlight of my year right there, starting my own business. I haven't made any money yet, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> Just well, that's work. what you get using the S2K as a commercial. Aha. Right. <laughs> yeah, see, you, know, so you, don't, you, don't, you don't get to advertise for free. You need to pay. And whatever you say, uh, PewDiePie or whatever that guy's name is. <laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> <laughs> Felix Bob Gardner. What? Felix Skydiver. Yeah, Felix the uh, cat. Oh. Phoenix oh. Downs? <laughs> eh, anyway. On March 15th, I uploaded a clip of a WWE house show on <laughs> my channel and on the S2K channel. <laughs> now we're really stretching it. <laughs> yeah, really. We're just a friend of mine uploaded, I think, on his Facebook or whatever, or, or on YouTube, I guess, and then I decided to download it. And, hey, this happened in Waco. It's not recorded for me, but oh, it's just a clip of Randy Orton and John Cena entering the ring, like a cage match or something. It was a house show. It wasn't televised. So that was kind of cool. They should have set the ring on fire in honor of Waco. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> they should have crashed it. Dude, fire. <laughs> I have David Koresh versus uh, Bray yeah. Wyatt, the Battle of the Brainwashers. Uh, Bob Backlund. <laughs> Bob Back, yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> he put him in the crossface chicken wing, but then he'd set the ring on fire and he'd yeah. get burned. You didn't repent! Are you a bird? I'll be an infernal match. It's like the Undertaker and Kane used to have. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. The ring pump. Yeah. And we started. Okay, we're about to have, have a wrestling podcast. Yeah. <laughs> In. Yep. And on May 14th, we did start, I started an LP of Star Soldier's favorite video game of all time, Mega Man 5. Oh, uh, yeah. I thought you were going to say Color of Dinosaur. Wait, <laughs> Wait never mind. Faxan do not highlight in the highlight LP. It's that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because yep. there was nothing but Star Soldier's hate for that game. Oh, yeah. That was funny. And then I, I named the last part, Let's Play Discuss, Star Soldier's favorite game. <laughs> and he rage quit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm right. going to have to uh, like go back and watch those. Oh, yeah. Pretty epic. It's pretty much Star Soldier versus me and we guy. Yep. <laughs> all, all, all four parts. Pretty intense. Yeah. And shortly after that, I started the LP of Super Mario Land. The two, right? Yeah. Well, one, that was part one, and then after that, well, well, before we got to part two, we did the fifth year anniversary of the S2K channel podcast. Yay! That sucked. That was only oh. 20 minutes long. It was just me and <laughs> uh, Yeah, it was just me and <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, my God, that was. That That's the worst boring podcast. NFL podcast is better. Because at least... Hey, that, the only reason that was bad was because we had shitty predictions. <laughs> <laughs> But after that, we started then the Super Mario Land 2, six ECW coins <laughs> LP. Oh, yeah, you did do the first one. I forgot. Yeah. Love that game. Very good um, Game Boy game. And that kind of stretched too long. I started it, and I see when I actually started July, ended in October. <laughs> and then yep. that's when we had a video drought on the SC2K. Cause you had to keep replacing the batteries in the Game Boy. Yeah. <laughs> six golden coins was finished on Halloween, and the next video that was uploaded after that wasn't until recently, a few days ago, December 27th, of Double Dragon. Man, yeah, that's a big drought. Yeah. Mine's of 2012, where I was working on Link to the Past, and then hadn't done anything like maybe two or three months, and then finally started on it again. Or a time. Wow, so like, wow, we're like, we're done. Yeah. Double See, Dragon. That's, that's not much, we didn't do much this year. <laughs> I barely. I didn't yes. even. My Mega Man 4 was just slow uploads from 2013. Yeah. Yeah, really. Well, you popular. know, we got so popular to, like, ever show up anymore, so that's yeah. on you. He was busy eating stuff. No, yeah, because you, Ape Stereo is giving me, Ape Stereo is giving me an ego, so I'm, like, I'm better than you guys now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yep. No. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna re rename it Eight Bitch Stereo. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. I already copy took. I already did the copy. Sent the copyright, so you can't do that. Oh. 
That is the worst copyright I've ever heard of. <laughs> you made it up. But I, I know, but I didn't copyright it. <laughs> yeah, well, I did, so you can never use it. Which means you made it up before I did, and then you copyrighted it. <laughs> nah, 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 I didn't do that. I win. Jamie already did it. <laughs> yep. Oh, wait, we guy already did it. Yeah. <laughs> the one time it's lame, we guy already did it. <laughs> yeah. The one time. <laughs> so we had finished the year. Purple's with... over here rolling. <laughs> <laughs> rolling. They see her rolling. She laughing. So we had finished the year with the Double Dragon LP. I'd say that was a good finisher. It, well, I actually finished January 1st, 2015. What, well, you know what? Semantics. Yeah. It, well, that it still sense. counts. I mean, yeah, it, yeah, it does. Counts. And uh, let's play this guy, Single Dragon. That was full of lulls and glitches. So, oh, man, that ending was that was probably the best way to end the year was with that uh, little ending glitch. Yeah, really. Definitely. Oh, well, one good way to start the year, shameless plug of, uh, let's check out Battletoads and Double Dragon. Check it out. Mm, good uh, game. Yeah, and uh, so I just uploaded that a few hours ago. And, but yeah, um, that's uh -huh. pretty much it. See, that's all we did on the S2K channel. Now, it's going to be a slow year. I mean, I'm not yeah. surprised because after 2010, 2011, we pretty much knew you know, it wasn't going to be as active as it used to be. Right. People got their own stuff going on in life, and uh, yeah, so I mean, at least got to do something, and yeah, so to, like YouTube I said, YouTube has changed. Do I? YouTube, is, YouTube has changed a lot, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I was thinking about it. I mean, that's part of the reason why I don't really haven't been uploading videos as much as I used to. I just kind of like, lost, not totally lost interest, but like... You know, my video production rate for both channels has really gone down because I'm just kind of tired of all the changes and stuff that YouTube has done or Google has done. Right. But in all fairness to Google, Rich of Review Tech USA had a point, and all these video his point he was making was, you know, we can blame Google and YouTube all day, but the reason why a lot of these videos and stuff is being third party or taken down is because of the broken copyright laws of this country. If Google did not acquiesce or take down all these videos, they would be in court all day. It's just the broken copyright laws of this country is why, you know, a lot of videos are taken down, or anybody can thir uh, third-party video or file a claim. Now you can file a counterclaim, and sometimes you might be able to win and get your video back up. But I mean, it's just ridiculous, and that's one of the reasons why I do old video games only because they're less likely to be taken down if you. Rather than if you review Grand Theft Auto V, that could easily be taken down by Rockstar Games. And it's just ridiculous. Or, or someone that claims they're Rockstar Games. And a lot of people got tired of that. And plus, a lot of changes that had nothing to do with copyright laws, just Google and just changing the interface or changing a lot of features and stuff over the years. And YouTube is just not as cool as it used to be. It became too corporate because those two guys that founded it can't can't blame them, but they sold it for millions of dollars to Google. And that's pretty much the beginning of the end right there. A lot of people was like, oh, crap. Now YouTube is going to be this big corporate uh, BS website. They're going to do a lot of stupid changes to it, I bet. And they kind of ran a lot of people off, and, you know, I wonder what happened to some people on YouTube over the years. Like Urinating Tree, Spunkies, Armate 21, Strictly Sega, I assume, is still around, I guess. <laughs> uh, and there's other people I can't think of on the top of my head. Um, I mean, a lot of people just don't do much on YouTube like they used to. And Rich also made a good point saying, you know, everybody's saying, oh, we're going to start a new video sharing website because we're tired of all these copyright laws. And, but see, if that video sharing website gets big too, they're still gonna, the copyright laws are still going to apply to them too. And if they don't take videos down, they could be sued or go to court. And so it's really the broken copyright laws of this country. You know, it's all about fair use, but it's all screwed up. And so, yeah, YouTube has changed a lot. And that's part of the reason why I'm not as interested and doing videos anymore, but I'll still do it if I really have the free time. And you know, if not, oh well, no big deal. I, there's a bunch of content on my channel and S2K channel to still entertain us and other people for a while. 
So we've done a lot here in the past. Or I, I know at least on my end, I've done a lot in the past seven years. There's still a lot. Like, you know, if a new fan discovers me, like if someone random like Minecraft Martin, for example, popped up one day and sent me a message, yeah, I've been watching you for years. I'm just now commenting and, you know, and I could, and a new fan could stumble on one of my videos or the S2K's videos. And then, you know, I've had someone tell me one time, I forgot who it was, uh, man, Ronnie, I really like your videos. I'm going to go back. I'm going to have a lazy day tomorrow. I'm off work. I'm going to go back and watch all of your low-budget reviews and all of your LPs or whatever. So even if I just stop doing videos now, there's still a bunch of content I've done in the past seven years to hold people over for a while. So, I mean, you know, go ahead. Uh, uh, yeah, I just wanted to, uh, you, know, you know, for the most part, I agree with you and Rich. Um, about YouTube, not only YouTube, but the, the fair use thing. I just wanted to add on top of that, um, it's the movie companies that started the, you know, the, the whole big copyright thing when YouTube really started to get big, and which happened after, you know, Google bought YouTube. Yeah. That pissed a lot of people off. You know, a lot of people don't see anymore like uh, Spunkies and or make, you know, he made like, what, five channels, you know, because he kept getting shut down. I know, I mean, I know part of that had to do with haters, definitely with Armake, make, but, uh, you know, th there was a real fine line, uh, well, there still is, but uh, that was back when shit just got shut down. Your video got taken off, you had strikes, stuff like that. You know, they, they changed things. In, in the past few years, I mean, of course, everybody knows that they'll just uh, they'll add a like a music track to your video or a little advertisement or something like that. Um, but it's it, like I, I this is where I don't agree. It doesn't make YouTube better that they do that. Uh, take for instance, Blip. I believe it was Blip, Ronnie. Uh, uh, didn't they like uh, say that you had to like take all your videos off there? Well, was that the? That was because they were closing channels down that wasn't drawing reven enough revenue. Okay. Well, all right. Well, then that's a completely different subject. Okay. I'm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, damn it. Well, I mean, I see your point. Uh, yeah, I was just thinking of that because you were talking about like, uh, oh, we should we should make a different YouTube and then, you know, other stuff happens. And I, you know, like I figured that's what Blip was always trying to do. Um, nonetheless, there's a lot of other things that YouTube has done to make it a, a, a lesser experience, but it began like around the time that we started doing S2K stuff and like, you know, really doing stuff on, you know, all, all three of our channels. Um, so, the, like, the tiredness already started there. Yeah. So, I, I, I really think that YouTube could have handled things differently in the beginning. Instead of, uh, you know, making it the last couple of years. Because a lot of people got tired. And so now it, it, it comes out uh, because you get a lot of crap like the PewDiePie guy. I don't even know the amount of subscribers he has. It's ridiculous, yeah. and it's crap. The, the 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 whole the whole gaming part of YouTube, it's crap. Mm -hmm. And it's I think it began from all that copyright shit. Yep. And it's spiraled, spiraled out of control. And now there's certain channels that are allowed to show whatever the hell they want, as long as it's not Nintendo. Yeah. It's well, you know. Maybe they've changed that as well. Yeah, and part of me is just ah. like, you know, what if my video started to get taken down soon, and I don't want to work on a video if it's going to be taken down, or some hater just files false claims all the time. I don't got time to sit down and file counterclaims all day long. And, and I, you know, I, I don't, I don't think people uh, necessarily like to have ads next to their videos that they're not making any money off of. Right. Because that a lot of times there's people that they see an ad, you know, that like a preloading ad, and they don't want to watch the video. They're like, forget it, I'll watch something else. 
Yeah. And, 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 you, and you guys remember what happened to me in 2012. I think it happened to We Guy, too, a Star Soldier, the Google AdSense BS got taken yeah. away from me, you know. And I thought, I didn't expect to make big money for my channel. But, but I was like, oh, cool. You know, it'd be nice to make a little bit. You know, I get more views on YouTube than do Blip. I only got $7 on Blip for all the years I was on there. At least I got some sort of check for it after they closed down the channel and then, like, just sent me, like, well, it was supposed to be ten dollars, I think, but you know, PayPal charges a three dollar fee to paper mail it to you. But anyway, uh, and I thought I was gonna make you know some decent side money, you know, every once in a while from YouTube. And then you know, I get the BS uh, notification: Oh, your uh, assets been disabled for or fraudulent clicking activity, which is total BS. I did not click on those ads. Or and of course, sometimes I watch the, my videos after I upload them. Yeah, of course you watch your own video sometime on YouTube. That's not fraudulent clicking activity. I mean, it's, it's, it was just but BS. Unless you were, like, refreshing. No, it wasn't. But, I mean, it, it was all, yeah, like, some people have done that. I think Swindoll used to do that to his channel just to try to get to at least 60 views and then stop doing it just to get a, a head start on views. And I'm like, you yeah, be careful with that because even if you're not making revenue, Google could still detect that and delete your video for cheating the view count. And, I mean, YouTube is just screwed up in so many ways. Google, you know, I don't care if anybody says, oh, Google made it better. No, it did not. I mean, there might be some features on here that's pretty cool, like the, where you can schedule your video to be uploaded after you upload it, and then you can schedule it to be published at a certain time, which I can't do anymore, by the way. But I thought that was a cool feature. Um, but for the most part, they really did a lot of stupid things over the years. And that's part of me is kind of like not wanting to work so hard on my videos anymore because what if it's all for nothing? Not that my videos take hours of hard work. I mean, I'm not AVGN or anything. I don't, or we got, he puts effort to his play that game reviews. <laughs> play that game. <laughs> my, my reviews are much easier, but it's still effort to record footage, get people over to record, help you with two player footage, um, or and do commentary. That's still, you know, a little effort to put in and then put it together, upload it. And so that's why I kind of don't really care to work hard on my videos that much anymore unless I really, really want to and I have free time, which recently I have, which is why I just finished Double Dragon OP, uploaded Baltos and Double Dragon on my channel. I got other stuff going on. But, but anyway, uh, that's probably one of the reasons why in 2014 I did not really do as much as I wanted to. Also, I've worked a lot, and so I'd <laughs> be kind of crazy. But yeah, yeah. I mean... Yeah, YouTube is not as ECW as it used to be, but it's still the best video sharing website online unless some other site surpasses them one day or until Google buys them. And, hmm. yeah, so, but that is it for the 2014 year of view S2K podcast. I wish we could have done more, but, huh. you know, that's well, life, and well, this is well, not our career. This is not our livelihood. So, well, just, I mean, it was half that. It, it turned into a YouTube brand at the end. <laughs> yeah. I, you know, you I, still, put that in I, I still do what? You should put that in the video title. You interview slash YouTube brands. <laughs> yeah. Get yeah, really. Track the people. And I, I noticed on this 2K channel, at least, when I upload and go to the video manager, it's, or about to upload, it still says, click here to montage your videos. I'm like, no, I'm not, because it's BS. I'm not going to try to montage anything because you're going to revoke it or... Oh, you don't qualify, or they're like you're still trying to get people to monetize their videos for what? We're not going to fall for that again. Yeah, it's so, weird how you still have that, and I like I like I don't because you know my channel had it, and yours did, then it's like, how's that even happen? Uh, yeah, I, I'm like, wait a minute, I thought I was disabled from Google AdSense, so why are you trying to get me to monetize my videos again? It huh. doesn't make sense. I mean, Google and YouTube is so screwed up. I mean, it's, it's just. So so screwed up, man. But uh, you just gotta be lucky. Yeah. With what you do, I mean, like with mine, you know, if it's there, it may get some third-party claims. Nothing gets taken down, of course, but except for that one video with the copyright strike that was kind of my own fault for having that happen. But you know, I'm still able to put out something, three videos a week. People like it, gets the views, gets the people interested to stay. And I'm all right with that. Yeah. Yeah, you got course. like a, a copy. You got a copyright strike, like recently. Uh, no, in May, it, it, and then of course had to wait six months for it to lift in November, and so that was a good day. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you know, looking back, just make sure to double check the the third party claims. Make sure the god the company actually owns the music, which yeah. I wouldn't think from a Famicom game from thirty years ago. That's, wow, that's strange. I, I, well, okay, I haven't uploaded anything in a long time, but I remember like um, well, it's like two or three years ago. A lot of my older videos got claims on them, but the, all they did was. Uh, either showed like something at the bottom of it, or it, it added like a you know like a pre roll pre roll ad. Yeah, yeah, or some videos maybe um, what's blocked in certain countries. Yeah, yeah. Now I don't I don't know for sure because I have ad blocker on my Firefox, so right, I can right. see ads anyway. But I think you still know if you like, I think you get notification or something. Yeah. What are your yeah. videos? Yeah. yeah. Copyright so, notices. You know. Yeah. It's just ridiculous. Like. I, that's so petty to uh, a video. A video game is thirty years old. You're gonna claim that or third party that? It's just ridiculous. It's I can somewhat understand like Grand Theft Auto music or something because that's a new game that came out and it's like music from a real band and it, or, or some of them maybe from real bands. I don't know. I'm not familiar with Grand Theft Auto Five, but I mean it, it's just. It's just ridiculous. I mean, we just want to do this for fun. We're not making any monetary gain off of it. And what's what's ridiculous, though, even more, is that when you do a five-second clip of a song, uh, some videos have been muted or taken down for someone doing a vlog, sitting there and talking in front of the webcam and having background music playing. And right. videos get third-party or copyrighted or a, a, a get a strike because of the music that's playing in the background that you can't really hear that all that good anyway or... It's just, it's just ridiculous. Now, if someone uploads a new soundtrack of the new Metallica CD that comes out tomorrow and uploads a full soundtrack on YouTube, I can understand that. I can understand taking, taking that down because, you know, that's just went on sale and that's new, a new album. But, like, video game music and, like, the original soundtrack to it, come on. It's just, and that's insane. Yeah, that's, that is ridiculous. Um, what is, I can't say it's more ridiculous, it's at least just as ridiculous, is I was on YouTube right around the time the Grand Theft Auto V came out, and there were multiple videos about the game. Not from Rockstar. Playthroughs. Yeah. Not touched. Nothing. Yeah. What's up with that? I mean, it, they're going after a Famicom game. <laughs> right? But a game that just came out. Well, Jamie, I, I guess they consider that actual promotion, which is, I, I wouldn't see it that way because I think that deters uh, some gamers from actually buying the game. Well, fuck it. If I can just watch it on YouTube, why go out and buy it? Yeah. 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 Come on, come on, Jay, man. There's no you. You're using logic. We don't use logic on YouTube. Oh, that's my bad. Ah, damn it. <laughs> logic is for what? Not again. Yeah. <laughs> G- yeah. Good job. Yeah. So anyway. <clears throat> no, 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 no. Because we forgot to hear from. Well, actually, I don't think we heard from we guys here. Um, but we definitely didn't hear about purples here. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. What do you say, purple? Flip a coin. Uh, uh, Who's gonna uh, go? Uh, 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 yeah. Well, wait. Who's who? <laughs> I didn't call heads <laughs> or tails. Call heads. Um, well, it's two thousand and fourteen. Um. Well, that's great. It was- <laughs> <laughs> all right, there you hey, go. that's not, it. I'm sorry. Uh, you guys. I'm sorry. I, I had to tip you over. You this. should have said heads. It's not my fault that you guessed wrong. I mean, you could have lied too. I didn't even so. guess. You said heads, and I oh. automatically got tails. I will tip you over in a chair. I'm not oh. even in a chair, so suck it. I will tip you over <laughs> in some way. <laughs> okay. Tip me, five, tip, tip me five bucks. Here's a tip. Oh. Let ladies go first. Hey, thank yeah. you, Ronnie. Yeah. 2014 was pretty decent, I guess. Um, 
doesn't sound that nice coming from Jay, but, you know, we have different priorities sometimes. Um, my job did not change, and it still hasn't. Pretty much, this is going to sound really shallow, but pretty much my highlight of 2014 was taking care of Snowflake and getting an awesome bedspread from my boyfriend for Christmas. Nice. Yep. That's about it, What's sadly. Boyfriend. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, and I ended up with two food processors for Christmas. <laughs> but Jay did it first. <laughs> Yeah. Did it first. Jamie already did it. Yeah, Jamie already did it. Yep. <laughs> Take that, we got. Yeah, well, okay. Okay. Oh, you could process the food first. Okay. <laughs> I'm so distraught that I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> so, how was your 2014? No, it's pretty good. I mean, I um, my job situation stayed the sta- stayed the same as in I didn't <laughs> at all. Yeah, Don't work. unemployment. <laughs> Well, you know, I'm just continuing with school, and that's been going good, so, you know, it's the best I can ask for is keeping up with that and not failing. Um, of course, I had my copyright strike in May, and that was, like, a big bummer, but waited the six months in November. That was a happy time when I was lifted. Um, what else? I joined that multi-tap group I tell you about all the time. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, Ron- or Ronnie. Um, did a lot of things with them. Uh, Portland Retro Game Expo, of course. In October, that was great. I made my whole video on We Got Through Nine about that. Uh, released at least two Play the Game episodes, right? Yeah, Terminator 2 and Dragon Spirit, which was a huh, new record. I'm actually producing them just a oh, little bit faster. Dragon Spirit, I love that fucking game. Oh, good. Sweet. Well, you can yeah. check check it out on Gaming Going Gone. Shameless plugs. No, I'm just going to play it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, at least watch how well, I review play it. Play that game. I mean, I know you're yeah, going to play it, but it's play like... Play it, right! Play that game! I'm going to play no, that game! <laughs> watch my review! It's a review I'm doing! Uh, you got enough viewers and subscribers. Come no, on wait, now. not on that what? channel. I only have, like, 300 subs on that channel. This is not We Guy 39. Oh. <laughs> so you're about S2K standards right now. A little bit. <laughs> yeah. And, uh... Let's see. Well, I reached I reached the te- uh, ten thousand on We Got Through Nine for ten thousand subs, and that was like a big milestone. Thank nice. you, Ape Stereo. I'll be. We'll keep that going as long as I can. Yeah. Right on. Nice. And uh, I think that was it. Oh yeah, and of course for Christmas, kind of like said with Jamin, except I got a PS3, and which that's fine because you know I definitely missed out on a lot of great games from that. Last gen, well, still kind of going with PS3, but mo- right, mainly. yeah. Regardless, I had to, yeah. I have a lot of games which I'm borrowing. You know, got to get Uncharted, or I have it, but I'm gonna play those. The Last of Us. Um, uh, what else? Uh, Freaking, uh, what Ellie Noir? I have that. I'm gonna gotta play. What other good games are there that were released? I guess GTA Five, of course. Got to get to that someday. Um, yep. I know there's a lot. I mean, about. What? Uh, Watch Dogs. I don't know if they. Uh, I think uh, they probably made a port for that. Watch Dogs. No, that game. Well, is- I don't know. That looked. I don't know. That looked too hyped and disappointing. I'll probably get it someday or borrow it from someone. I, I want to. It's good. It. I. I. Um. I got it for twelve bucks on PS4. Oh. 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 <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll definitely look at the catalog and just go through what I want to play because there's a lot. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. And that was a good year, I'd say. Hopefully I uh, keep the same or at least get a job. That'll be, like, the best thing to happen for this year. Yeah. Get a job, we guys. I will. I'm and, trying. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> uh, we, yeah, we watched that movie today. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. Um, it's a... Before we go, there's a few things I didn't mention about 2014. Um, besides one thing that really sucked that was personal, so I'm not going to talk about. That sucked, but there were more great things, though, 2014 than there were bad things. Um, I subscribed to the WWE Network. That's pretty cool. Um, oh, yeah, it has cool. its problems, but I mean, for $9.99, you know, not bad. Uh, pretty cool. Um, I, oh, got, I got hired about that real quick. Um, oh, sorry, um, but uh, the nine ninety nine a month isn't that like a lock in for like six months or something like that? 
Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Six Sorry. month commitment. And so it's not bad. I mean, I love the network. You know, I love wrestling, watching the old stuff. It was pretty good. Documentaries, a bunch of content. Uh, Attitude. What? Attitude Era. Oh, yeah. Attitude Era. Nitro. I mean, ECW. Yeah. They have everything on there, pretty much. Um, and back in April, I got hired back at my old restaurant job that I loved years ago. Uh yeah, right, right, right. There's right next to me. It, it lives right next to me. The job is right next to me. I live right next to the job. It's a cool restaurant job that I still have right now. So that's pretty cool. It was great to work there again because there's one manager who I definitely did not like. Ended up being fired from the company, and then I was able. That was my opportunity to come back, and everything has been pretty decent there. So that was, going back to that job and having two jobs where things picked up financially than they did 2013. That was pretty cool. Um, and also, moving back here to the University Apartments, that right there might have been the highlight of the year. Right there. Moving back over here, I did not see that one coming at all. At all! This year. So that was pretty epic, and that happened around time after my birthday. And so, the, down, the downside of that was having to get rid of the rats, but um, that all worked out good. I can only hope that the new Oreo found a decent home because I had to turn her into a pet store for someone to adopt her. And then I know Snowflake for sure is in good hands. Um, yes. And so I can still keep track of her. And, yeah, so, and then on New Year's Eve uh, is when I had left my other restaurant job. And I've been there for three years, and that will be for another time, for another podcast, hopefully in the next few days where we do the Horrible Job Experiences 3 podcast, if we can get four people in it. Um, yes. And because me and Jamie have stories for sure. Star Soldier said he has a few stories, and I think maybe Gentoo as well. So hopefully they'll be pretty epic because I do have stories of that job. Hype. And, yeah. And uh, so I'm glad to be done with that job in particular. And, yeah, so 2015 so far is starting, starting out pretty great. And I've have potential clients lined up for my business right now. So there's hope right there for my business to really get up and running this year. And yeah, so, so far 2014 really ended with a bang and 2015 is everything's still going strong. And, uh, looks like as far as video production wise, it's unpredictable. Um, but all I can say is whenever I can, I'll do videos and I know my Yoshi's Island LP is stretching out, but then again, so did Ocarina of Time and Mario All-Stars, so at least there's always hope with me on my end that I'll at least get it finished eventually, and uh, I still get sidetracked with other video projects that I love doing on SC2K and Ron Moore, like Let's Checkouts, Long Time No Plays, Low Budget Reviews, and Let's Plays on the SC2K, and of course the occasional podcast. So for me, 2014 definitely was ECW. And since 2012, I think things have gotten better. 2012 was eh. 2013, a little bit better. 2014 was even better. 2014 overall, I'd probably give it an 8 or 8.5 8. <laughs> out of 10. How are you doing this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because 2014 overall was not bad for me. Not bad year at all. Yeah, yeah, it was good. Just, yeah, pretty good. I'll give it a classic uh, J-Man score from Mega Man 4. I'll give it a uh, out of ten. <laughs> nice. Uh, nice. I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you my liquor level. I'm about six out of ten. Like yeah. liquor. <laughs> six out oh, of uh, ten. Snowflake one. Snowflake wanted to say something real quick. Squeak. Okay. Squeak. 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 Okay, that was it. Yeah. <laughs> got deep voice. It was. It was totally me. But yeah. Yeah, what? No, no, really? I, what you ruined the illusion? I thought it was Snowflake. Wow, that was a good impression. Oh, it's amazing. Wow. <laughs> okay, I may do a video this year. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, hopefully you said that last year, but oh well. Uh, yeah, damn it. You're trying to get people to get their hopes up so you can troll them and say, "Hi, ah, April Fools," and. <laughs> I know, people were eagerly waiting my return. <laughs> <laughs> you, 
You need to do what Sting did. You're, you're and sitting by their computers like, oh my god, when's it going to happen? When's it going to happen? You have to upload <laughs> it and the title has to be, did you miss me? Yeah. You, you need to do a Sting-like return and show up when no one expects it. <laughs> so never? Well, So J-Man is the Sting. Yeah, right, right. No, J-Man. Whatever. <laughs> J-Man is the Sting. J-Man is the Sting of SC2K. He's going to show up. I Wait will a minute. return when no one cares. And that will be any time. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. That is it. We're out here. Hopefully, 2015 will be a much more productive more LP-ish year on the SC2K. So, oh, yeah. we're, we're out of here. I'm Ron Moore. We guy. This is the Jamie. Purple. This snowflake squeak, squeak. All right. God bless. Take care. Bye. Peace.